What's up, everybody? I'm Coots. And I'm Tank. Thanks for joining us on another edition of This or That. Um, movies? Movies. Oh. So today, it's uh, one that Coots has chosen. It is <laughs> Die Hard versus Lethal Weapon. So action flicks from the, is Lethal Weapon the 90s or early 80s. 90s? Is it 80s? It's made it, so, it made it into the 80s. Die Hard versus Lethal Weapon. What do you got? Uh, uh, I'm going to go with Die Hard. You choose Die Hard yeah. over Lethal, Le Lethal Weapon? Why? Yeah, I'm definitely more, well, I'm, I'm more of a Bruce Willis fan, and I think it's funny that doing this, because you're not a Bruce Willis fan, like, at all. Not particularly, um, no. uh, I, In general, He was I, good in Pulp Fiction, but that's, like, the only thing I feel like. I've seen him in that I was like, oh, he's all right in that. And you're not a Fifth Element fan. I do not like the Fifth Element. Yeah, and that's one of my top favorites because I have, ever. Because I have this thing called Taste. I know, so I've, seen, I've seen Fifth Element probably five, nah, probably 200 times. At least 200 times. I can't say I like taste because there is a sci-fi movie that everybody in the world hates that I didn't hate. It's Battlefield Earth. I enjoyed that for some weird reason. I liked it and everybody hates it and I get it. Yeah. Like in the, in the in the way that you judge movies, it's pretty bad. It's but there's terrible. something about it's a it terrible that film. I enjoy. Um, it, but there's nothing I enjoy about Die Hard, and there's also nothing I enjoy about Lethal Weapon. <laughs> I don't like either one of these movies. I, um, I like, like Mel Gibson. I'm okay with Danny Glover. Danny Glover was great in Predator 2. Love Mel Gibson. There's a lot of Mel Gibson movies that I like. And See, I would go Bruce Willis I, over Mel Gibson. I, I would not go, definitely not go Bruce Willis over Mel Gibson. Yeah. Mel Gibson is definitely a better actor. He's more... <clears throat> I, I would say he's a better actor. I just think I like. He's not as more. great of a person. I would probably say, but, no, not, but uh, he's not a better actor. I think, um, but based on that alone, I mean, you take it like it's. Do you prefer this turd or this shit? And I'm like, uh, I, I, I guess I'll, guess. I guess I'll <laughs> pick the turd. I get like I despise Die Hard. I really don't like it at all. Um, and I really, really dislike Lethal Weapon too. Yeah, uh, I will say. Okay, I, I have with Lethal Weapon. I have watched. Yes, I, I watched the Die Hards more. The Lethal Weapon I revisited because they all came on Netflix, so I watched them all, all four. The Lethal Weapons. Yeah, yeah. And I gotta admit they're not as good as I thought they were, and they definitely don't hold up as they used to. Some yeah, of the Die Hard. Some of Mel Gibson's Die Hard. crazy. Is kind yeah, of crazy. What is it, Riggs? Yeah, yeah. Him slapping himself all the time. Yeah, the only silly. thing that makes me choose Lethal Weapon over anything, I'm, I'm not pleased that I have to choose between two things that I despise this much. <laughs> um, but Danny Glover's line, I'm getting too old for this shit. Like, it's just a classic movie line, and it applies in so many different ways to so many different people. That's why I chose it. But literally, that's the only thing I can cite from either one of these movies that I like. Yeah. Uh, I, I do not... It does not have to... Like, I, I... I hate... I even hate the meme that's like, it's not Christmas till you watch Hans Gruber fall off Nakatomi Plaza. Yeah, it is. Do it every year. Do it every year without watching Die Hard. And I still... It's, I watched Die Hard, I think, three years ago. And I was like, yeah, this is still a fucking abortion. It's a like, it's fantastic horrible. movie. It's love so it. bad. Oh, yeah. It's, it's so bad. It, I love Alan Rickman. No, it, I love it Alan makes, Rickman. It, oh, it's, it's my number one. I got to kick off the uh, holiday season with, with uh, Die Hard. It doesn't start until I watch that. It's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. Because it's fucking snowing one time. No, it's set during, like, uh, during Christmas time. Yeah, I know. It's, it's set during Christmas. I'm not debating. You can call it a Christmas movie. I don't have an issue with that. What I have an issue with is the acting, the script, the action. All of it? The, yeah, everything <laughs> else except for, yeah, it's fine. It's a Christmas movie. Right. I, I agree that Die Hard could be a Christmas movie, but Not your cup of I can definitely have Christmas without Die Hard because I've done that a hell of a lot more times than yeah. I have in my life. It's got to be in my, yeah, I, I put it on in the weapon sucks, too. It's so, it's so <laughs> also, overrated. It's just, it's just, yeah. yeah, is it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, I love Christmas movies, but if these, if you're considering Lethal Weapon or Die Hard Christmas movies, I don't like either one of them. A lot. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, so <laughs> I, I, I guess I'll choose, I'll like, reluctantly barely have it down, no choice to choose Lethal Weapon over up. Die Hard, because I have a long-running disdain for Die Hard. Yeah. Like, you don't like Die Hard? What kind of man are you? All men like Die Hard. I'm yeah. like, well, not this he, man. He don't. Uh, well, I do, I love it, but that's just me. So anyway, please like, share, or comment on this video. Tell me why you think I'm crazy and why I should like one of these. What's your choice? 
Um, please follow our Facebook page, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Radio Rhapsody with Coots and Tank. I am Coots. And I'm Tank, and we'll see you next time, kids. Peace.